Hi everybody! Do you remember when we found sticks on our playground and we brought them in the classroom and we used them to investigate and build things? Well, I went in my backyard and I found a whole bunch of sticks that had fallen on the ground because the past few days have been really windy and the wind must have knocked them off of the branches at the tops of the trees. So I picked them up and I brought them inside and I decided to show you something that you can do with sticks while you're home. All right, I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing on the table because I wanna show you all the sticks that I brought in and show you exactly what you can do them uh, with them and use them for. We have something like this at school where we get to practice our letters, right? We have copies of all the different letters and we can use the sticks to make the letters. So I have a big pile of sticks over here. See, there's a whole bunch of sticks. Some of them are small, some of them are big. Here's one that's kind of small, and it looks like the shape of the bottom of that letter T. And then what if I go across the top like this? We can practice making a letter T. And you don't even have to have the shapes at home. You can just practice making a letter on the table on a regular piece of paper. So look, if we flip this over and you can't see the letters, you can still practice making the letter T just like that. Let's see, how about a lowercase T? Maybe I need another small stick to start. Oh, but this one's kind of curved. I wonder if I can find a curved stick from yesterday. Let me take a look. Here's one that's kind of curved like the letter T on the bottom, right? Here, let's try it this way. And look, I can go across the center of the T and it makes a lowercase T. That's something that you can practice at home with sticks. But while you're outside, why don't you take a look and see if you can find some rocks? Because you can do the same thing with rocks. We can trace the letter T with our rocks. Let's see if I can find a small one to go on the side over here. Look at that, we made the letter T with rocks. You also can trace these with a marker. So I have some dry erase markers at home and I put my paper inside of a sheet protector. If you have sheet protectors, you can ask your parents or the grown-ups at home if you have something like this to put the paper in because then you can write on top of it it's a little hard to see, this one's kind of light. And then you can erase it when you're done. So you can take a paper towel and erase it and you can keep using it over and over. But I have another trick. If you don't have a dry erase marker at home, you can use a regular marker. You can trace the letter. And then when you're done with it and you wanna do a new letter or trace it again, you can just use a paper towel and a little bit of cleaner. You have to ask mom or dad or a grown up for this and it wipes it right off. So if you don't have a dry erase marker, that's okay. You can use a regular marker. Another trick, if you don't have a sheet protector at home is you can take your printed paper with your letters on it that you can find on my website and you can put them inside of a Ziploc bag because I bet you you have a Ziploc bag at home. And look, this is a number 10. So we can also trace, or we can build a number 10 with sticks, with rocks, or what about, I found shells in my playroom and I decided to use these shells that we've collected. So I can follow along building the zero Look at this cool shell. I'm building the number one. You can use anything you want, anything that you have in your house you can use to make these numbers or these letters. And you can do them even if you don't have a printout of a number or a letter. You can practice number 10 by making a one and a zero. 
Ta-da. So go outside, find some really cool things like sticks or rocks or leaves, anything that you can find. Or you can look around inside your house and you can find things inside too. Maybe you have a collection of shells. Maybe you have a collection of matchbox cars. If you have that, you can make those into numbers and letters too. You can think of anything that you want to use while you're home to practice making the shapes of the numbers and letters and showing them to the grown-ups in your family or showing them to your brothers and sisters. Or if you're FaceTiming grandma and grandpa, you can show them what you're doing too. So I want everybody to go take a walk outside today because it's a nice day and see if they can find some cool things, bring them in the house and make something neat out of them. And if you do, tell me about it. You can send me a message on my phone or you can send me a message at my website. I'll see you soon. Bye.